What's up YouTubers? Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're wondering why we're outside, then you better find out. And stay tuned and hope you enjoy this video. And thanks for all the subscribers. Welcome back YouTubers. Get and back in the video. I'm back. I'm back. Get back. Right, okay. I'm back like an enderman. Welcome back. We apologise. It's been a, a good few weeks before we posted any videos. That's because... I've had a bit of a back injury and unfortunately I've been in physio back to back. We've not had a chance to make any videos. All the projects are having to go on hold for now. We've not been able to work on any of the cars so everything's in the garage. However, we thought we'd get outside today and we'd do a bit of a video for you guys to keep you updated and along with the journey with us. We've got another first time start for you guys because We've been doing some work around the back of the house trying to make some extra parking so we can park some more cars. Yeah, <laughs> and then we can buy more cars and sell more cars and buy more cars and sell more cars and then hopefully buy more cars and sell more cars. That's right. And we discovered something that we kind of forgot about because we parked this car up. Let me show you guys. We parked this car up around here about seven months ago and we completely forgot about it. What do you think it is? What do you think it is, guys? You know. Do you know? Do you know what it is? Yes, I know. Would you believe it's another Subaru Impreza? So this car's been here about seven months and it has not started in that time, which it's not a long time sometimes for a car to stand, but you've got to remember this has been standing outside in the cold, harsh winter. Uh, it's not been run, it's not, not turned over, so we're going to give it a go and see what this first time start is like after seven months and because of where we are we're going to struggle to get another vehicle up here because this is all still sort of raw muddy land that we dug out in the summer last year we can't drive on this just yet so the only thing we've got with a battery that can help us start this thing is this mini digger <laughs> so we're going to get that spun round we're going to get the jump leads on and hopefully we can get this thing started up with a digger with a digger that makes no sense trick as we did on the version 8 um, first start video that we did the other week if you haven't seen that check it out on our channel we're going to disconnect the oil supply sorry not the oil supply we're going to disconnect the camshaft sensor which is going to kill the spark to the engine and the fuel which will let it turn over and build oil pressure before we start it so it's going to build oil pressure up then we're going to reconnect it, then hopefully we're going to start it. So this one's a little different to the version 8. This one we could just disconnect here. Yeah. Right, spin it over till we've got a low pressure. I mean, sounds like a good plan to me. Oh. There, all the oil's warmed up now because then oh. he's going to connect it. Right, we've got oil pressure, the oil light's gone out. Let's reconnect this cam sensor here, and hopefully, now with this next crank, she'll fire. Take your bets in now, guys. This is your last chance. Comment down below. Comment down below. Hashtag start if you think it's going to start. Oh, there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is why we love Subaru. Exactly. No, I 
idea what's wrong with it, guys. But that's just how the handbrake sounds like. Technical difficulties. Here it comes now. So what's happened is the clutch plate is kind of seized on and it won't let us select a gear so what I'm going to have to do is a brutal method technique called breaking the clutch off <laughs> No, not my broken as in snap yeah, no, not, not broken as in snap So the problem we've got guys is because the car's been sat outside in the cold damp weather there's been like a bit of surface corrosion built up on the flywheel and it has seized the clutch plate up against the flywheel which means it's not selecting a gear, the clutch's not working so when I try and select a gear, it's as, as though the clutch can't be pressed in. Oh, and you've got the... oily hands, Dad. I know. <laughs> so the quick way of doing this, which is a bit brutal, is, is I'm going to put some extra juice in there from the jump leads again. And I'm going to try and start the car in gear yeah. with the handbrake on and hopefully the pressure will snap it loose and make it work again. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed guys that nothing goes wrong with here. Fingers crossed! Boy. Well this is a moment of truth. Can we break the clutch so it can work again? Not like Oh! I think that's a good sign guys. I think we can see you like you're zooming guys. You can fix a Subaru anywhere. Anytime. Anyhow. In any place. That's why we like Subaru so much. Hopefully guys, we have broken the clutch. We're about to find out now. Yes. 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 We've broken the clutch so it'll work again. Let's go. There you go guys, you have it, we got it reversed. It. Thanks for watching guys, we're going to go and do some digging now. We'll be back soon hopefully with some yeah. more yeah, we'll car stuff. And cool yeah. footage. What footage? Cool footage. Cool footage. See you soon.